In this video, we'll take a closer look at how you'll use the ripple trim tool to lengthen or shorten shots without creating any gaps, which works great during the first pass of refining sequence content. In this example, we want to add content to the beginning of this clip. To do this, we either activate just the ripple tool or with both tools active, click the bottom edge at the beginning of this clip and then drag to the left to unroll additional footage. As long as we didn't mark an in at the first frame or too close to the beginning of the clip, we can do this. Let's look at how the source clip was marked. As you can see, there's plenty of available content before the in. By the way, the portion not edited into the sequence is called handle. Also, notice the footage downstream from this clip move forward. Let's watch this trim again. Okay, here's a second example. Let's shorten the end of this shot. This time, we'll click the end of this clip and drag to the left to roll up footage and end the shot early. And the clips downstream move back to the left. 